We're going to talk about the critical role suspension bushings play in the modern motor vehicle. Vehicles are getting heavier, not lighter. Here's a couple of examples. VK Commodore, when it come off the line, 1,220 kilos. Yeah, a fairly heavy car. That was a metal car. We look at a VE Commodore, all alloy you know, engines, uh, the latest in metallurgy, 1,690 kilos, nearly 1,700 kilos. That's the V6 model. An SV21 Camry, when it rolled off the showroom floor, was heavier than a VK Commodore. And we move forward to things like the new model Camry, the ACV40. 1,489 kilos, nearly 1,500 kilos, and the hybrid version it weighs as much as the VE Commodore. All right, cars are getting heavier, not lighter. When we look at some of the other trends, power levels, VS HSV had 185 kilowatts. You know, that was the be all and end all. We look at the VE V6 standard, 190 kilowatts. Let's not forget the FG Falcon standard, 195 kilowatts. That's huge power levels. We look at braking performance of new vehicles. You know, the VB Commodore had a 256 millimeter diameter rotor. That's a 10 inch rotor. We look at the VE, we're over 12 and a half inches in diameter for the VE rotor, 321 mils. You know, vehicles don't come out these days without ventilated rotors. Drum brakes will only show up on small front wheel drive vehicles on the rear end. You know, very critical with braking performance. So when we look at facts and trends or industry trends, we look at a 1974 model Kingswood. You know, we had a 14 inch rim, 70 series tyre with running about 28 PSI. We move forward to the VE Commodore. It had an option for a 20 inch rim, 35 series tyre, 38 PSI. We need to remind ourselves that the tyre sidewall is the first suspension component, or it's the first spring. So back in 1974, we had a very, very soft sidewall, very, very high profile tyre. It was a very big spring, huge spring, absorbed a lot of that NVH and road noise and vibration. We move forward to that VE with a 20 inch wheel, very, very tough sidewall, low profile tyre, very high pressure, tyre pressure. What does that mean to us? Well, when we look at the bushings in those cars, the Kingswood had a very, very small bushing, but very large tyre sidewall. We move forward to the VE, very low tyre sidewall, very high tyre pressure. The bushings have to cope with all that NVH and the vibration from the ground coming up into the chassis. So without the large bushing, all that noise would come straight into the car. So just remember, with the trend in, in the industrial trends, with the high profile tyres in the old days, small bushings, low profile tyres, very large bushings.